So concrete has many interpretations, therefore its time period of invention depends on what was actually considered to be concrete. Crude cements were a derivative of ancient materials through the process of heating and crushing limestone or gypsum. The composition of water and sand mixed with cements formed a textured consistency to comply between the bricks and a strong sealing method. These materials have been experimented with and improved upon over thousands of years to which has formed modern concrete today. Sticky rice moda was developed in ancient China which was formed through the process of mixing soupy, sticky rice and cement together. The composition consists of limestone and lime that has been calcinated then submerged into water. Clingy rice mortar was likely the world's first composite mortar, made with both natural and inorganic materials. The clingy rice mortar bound the blocks together so firmly that in numerous spots, weeds despite it. Our aim was to achieve both hard and soft rocks um, by using different mixtures and different ratios of the substances such as the limestone, the cement, the sand, the deco sand and the seeds. Uh, in this case we've used natural sand with cement to harden the rock as well as give it the natural look of earth. So in some cases we decided to upgrade the light shade of rice and accomplish a gem like stone. Um, the lime blended with water of a wet surface and the clingy rice expanded the deck. So the bigger proportion of rice performed inverse to being the embellishment material. The rice blended with the lime and took into account a soft surface that doesn't hold up its texture. Um, therefore we came across a few different um, variations of rocks which were soft and went through ratios to determine what creates a rock that is harder but also keeps a good amount of the rice and shows the texture, textural qualities as well as the colour. Um, the structure is wet and shaped. The structure is wet to contact and can't be formed into shape as the dampness of the rice and lime permitted no space for strength. In some cases, our aim was to accomplish a marble look with a dim of concrete that swerves through the strength of the white base blend. The results are the enormous measure of extent being lime has permitted a greater amount of the white to command the blend. The clingy rice proceeded as the coupling material without distracting from its marble-like surface. The sand and concrete blend permitted the structure to harden and hold its shape. The dim of the cement whirling through the white base makes a marble-looking complexion. A solid rock that is extremely textured has hints of reddish tones. This combination allowed for great results. This mix dried into a solid rock and formed the desired texture and structure that we were looking for. The lime and the cement blended together to forming a flat surface whilst the pieces of the brick added texture and colour. Any solid structure can be formed with this mix. The blend dried faster and the shape remained intact. We were consistent with the cement and limestone, however, we wanted to explore how dirt would affect the mortar. So in this case, um, this combination was chosen to explore the performance of dirt in a mortar mix. The cement, rice and lime is the general concrete mortar mix. The rock appears natural due to the raw earth mud. The mixture dried solid, however, the rice added moisture and a wet looking finish to the surface. The rock may fall apart if pressure is applied. The mix of concrete and limestone um, formed a great base for all of the concrete um, materials and variations, but we decided to add the addition of seeds because um, the seeds add a very earthy texture and bring back the environment into the concept. Um, by bringing the seeds in, we are able to experiment with the weight of the um, of the bricks as well as the um, the mixture of the mortar and the texture, the colors, the marbling effects. Um, we wanted to um, add the shading to allow it to stay the same as well as changing the surfaces and um, in some areas mixing more and some areas allowing the mix to stay as it is to um, enable a very earthy um, and natural looking stone. 
So we decided to experiment around with the blend of lime and concrete to achieve a marbling effect, as well as adding deco sand and normal sand here to play around with the textures and reflections of light. Um, over here you can see that the light reflects in a sparkling effect. Um, in the next one we decided to keep it really simple and only um, mix concrete with sand deco to give a very strong rock effect. Um, we also wanted to explore the effect of dirt and seeds added to the mortar. As you can see, the seeds become visible to the surface, but also add a rough texture to the rock. The seeds were conceptual elements to relate our experiment back to the environment. This is because cement is non-renewable, therefore unsustainable, and we are oblivious to the precious seeds that are packed away in paper bags. The materials, rice and seeds become an inorganic and organic mixture. Through experimenting with the 25 variations of the composite concrete mixtures, we were able to research different complexities and textures and colours of this rock. This led to an exploration of properties of concrete in relation to sticky rice motor. The cement and the seeds together form a materiality and saltfulness as opposed to lifeless cement. Um, the bricks are cold to the touch and each give a sense of character and sensitivity.